This is the new Lexus IS300 all-wheel drive, and in this video, I wanna show you some of the very best things about it and what that means for how it drives in far less than ideal real-life conditions. But first, we're starting here. You might love the 3 Series for its smooth-as-silk powertrain, or the ATS for its sharp handling and fantastic steering. I love driving Volvos in the wintertime because of some of their clever features, and if you're a fan of the flashiest interior your money will get you, you're probably more likely to lean towards a modern Mercedes or Audi. The point is, there are many reasons we love the luxury cars we love and drive the luxury cars we drive, and after launching in the 90s, the Lexus IS has evolved into this latest generation model, and a machine that, to me, stands out the most for one specific reason that I noticed after 1300 kilometers of driving through all manner of bad winter weather and rough northern Ontario back roads. I do a lot of reading on these cars before I drive them, mostly because I'm a geek, but also because I want to know what goes into these machines so that I can give you a better sense of what you'll get out of them in real life. And in my reading on the new IS300 in the days leading up to this test drive, I noticed an awful lot of time spent by the car's designers and engineers explaining, frankly, incredible sweating of even minor details to make this, bar none, the smoothest and most responsive car that it could be. targeted structural reinforcement, lightening of components down to the very lug nuts on the wheels, extensively validated suspension systems, isolators, and steering tuning. It's the full brunt of Lexus's Japanese engineering deployed towards an all-out attack on unwanted vibrations and noises and sensations from the car. These efforts are so extensive they've even given them a name, the Lexus Driving Signature. Mazda has Skyactiv as a promise of high efficiency driving, Buick has Quiet Tuning, that's their engineering-based promise of a quiet ride. And now with their own promise it's Lexus, with the Lexus Driving Signature as your promise that this car is going to feel really, really good. Now that's the press materials talking, but I'm happy to report that on the road, you feel the results of this work immediately. It's not uncommon for me to encounter some neat reading like that and then feel it in action on the road in real life, but this car might be the strongest example of that that I've ever come across. The feeling is powerful. It's a big part, probably the biggest part of this car's character. Let's dive a bit deeper and see what that all means for how it drives. So the Lexus Driving Signature is a comprehensive development process with the end goal of giving you exceptional feedback, road feel, response, confidence, and especially refinement. It's a heightened focus on tuning, and its goal is to create a vehicle that says Lexus excels at communicating with the driver while turning in a better ride, and a car that just feels awesome at the tips of the driver's fingers and toes. The first thing you notice is the complete lack of the usual vibrations and buzzing sensations that occur naturally as a car drives down the road. Touch the steering wheel rim, the door panel, the center tunnel as you drive along a smooth highway. Nothing is vibrating, not even the gear shifter. And I've driven $100,000 cars that can't say that. This isn't just that new car feel either. This particular tester has done over 12,000 hard kilometers now, so by demonstrator car standards, it's already very, very well used. So a small but significant example of the extensive work put into isolating you from unpleasant feedback from the road. Next, you notice the steering and braking. That's two strong signals back to the driver, the brakes and the steering, which you're using all the time. And simultaneously, they're very smooth no matter how you work them, but also there's virtually no slack. The little inputs that you give to the steering wheel or brakes that don't even register on some cars give you an immediate reaction here. The brake pedal has just a finger's worth of slack before the pads start to bite. Cruising the highway, the IS300 feels locked in, locked on, and heavy. The steering transmits your inputs to the road precisely. There's almost never any need to readjust the wheel to keep centered within your lane. Given an input, the steering responds eagerly and immediately and smoothly, with a ratio and effort that feel engaging, but not hyperactive and twitchy. The brakes engage beautifully, and with a linear and smooth buildup of stopping power worked hard for a panic stop or just slowing down for a red light up the road, they're smooth, effortless, and drama-free while offering the feel and precision at the pedal that a driving enthusiast loves. 
the ride, even on the badly beaten back roads around Sudbury is remarkably good as luxury sports sedans go. If you're shopping around here and finding that too many of the models you're driving feel too stiff and smashy over the bumps and potholes of real-life roadways, you'll want to check this one out. It feels solid and agile if you like, but it stands up very nicely to rough surfaces without crashing into them. That's a spirited drive that's also comfortable. It's getting all the sensations you love from your sporty luxury car, but none of the ones you don't. What you've got here is a car that's expert at filtration, extensively engineered to filter out the unpleasant sounds and sensations that drivers don't like, while allowing the very best of the ones that we do like to shine through at all times. Even in sport mode, revs up, foot down, and a more spirited driving style, the feeling remains. Hard ABS stops are smooth, quick, and quiet. Quick steering maneuvers always arrive smoothly and with a nicely balanced feel. Even in emergency handling tests, the IS300 feels pretty much unbothered. The IS300 all-wheel drive runs an all-motor 3.5-liter 260-horsepower V6 engine instead of a turbo four-cylinder, which is common in this segment. So like its ride and steering and braking, even the very power curve of this engine intends to be smooth and refined, but also more engaging and dramatic when worked hard. This all-motor V6 can't match the low-end snap that turbocharged four-cylinders are delivering these days, but this creamy V6 does work best when it's spinning fast, and it sounds lovely while doing it. So like much of the rest of this car, even the engine operates with a carefully honed feel that's smooth and engaging no matter how you choose to drive it. Through stormy weather and rough roads and many hours on the highway, I couldn't find anything much that broke this machine's composure. On slippery back roads, I appreciated the strong rear bias of the all-wheel drive system. Most sportier drivers will. And in most emergency maneuvers, the stability control system clobbered unwanted skids quickly and consistently. Flick here for sport mode, again for eco or tap for snow. You can fine-tune the driving feel of the car for your tastes or conditions while that Lexus driving signature stays prominent in every mode. The size and shape and proportions of this machine are also notable, especially if you're debating an all-wheel drive luxury car like this versus an all-wheel drive luxury crossover. The IS300 isn't a big car, but it fits me like a glove, seats me in the center of the action, and keeps everything within easy reach. It also clusters the busier looking controls down in this dark lower part of the forward dash so they don't distract me as I take in the forward scenery. Controls and interfaces are far from the market's flashiest, and if the most high-tech or roomy or cutting-edge cabin for your dollar is a priority, you might want to consider other options. Still, the overall feel of the IS300 is its driver's constant reminder that they're in a high-end product, and probably this car's most valuable asset. I think in this segment, this is the car that you buy because of how it feels.